tene te mihi ki a koto kato, na mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Welcome to the Natural Ozone YouTube channel. My name is Kim Saxton, Director of Natural Ozone, a Kiwi company dedicated to helping you harness the many benefits of ozone. Please note, this video is not intended as personal medical advice. For all medical issues, please consult your health professional. Ozone therapy does have a firm scientific basis. In fact, there are over 11,000 scientific articles published on the PubMed database. In this video, we will discuss how to perform the home ozone therapy protocol, breathing ozonated oil, or BOO for short. Medical ozone gas has many benefits for your health. However, unfortunately, it can irritate the mucus lining of your lungs, so it is definitely not a good idea to breathe in the gas directly. When we bubble ozone through an oil, such as olive oil, the medical ozone is changed into another chemical called ozonoids. These can be safely breathed into your lungs so that the ozone can do its work. Please note, Natural Ozone do not claim that this protocol will cure any conditions. There is a wealth of scientific data which you can access through the Natural Ozone Study Library to help you guide your decision making. People report relief from various lung conditions from using the BOO protocol such as COPD, asthma, allergies, colds, flu, nasal congestion, sinus infections, mold exposure, and even brain fog. This is the equipment you will need to perform the BOO protocol. Oxygen supply, the natural ozone ozonode, medical ozone generator, oil bubbler with nasal cannula, 200 mils of organic olive oil, the natural ozone home ozone therapy protocol handbook. This is the natural ozone oil bubbler kit. As you can see, it has a high grade micro diffuser stone. You can't just use any diffuser stone for BOO. I import these from the USA because they are especially designed for the job. When you are doing BOO with a diffuser stone, please ensure that you have just enough oil to cover the diffuser stone. I've made thousands of jars of ozone gel over the past 15 years, and I have found that this is the most effective method of saturating the oil with medical ozone due to the special capabilities of micro bubbles. Connect the oxygen supply to the O2 in nozzle at the back of your ozonode. We have separate videos on setting this up depending on whether you are using an oxygen concentrator or bottled oxygen. So if this is the first time you are using your home ozone therapy equipment, please visit the appropriate video. You will see that your ozonode has a three position switch marked M1, off and M2. When we use the settings one to four, we have the switch on N1 and use the outlet marked O3 out one. When we use the settings five or six, we turn the switch to M2 and the outlet marked O3 out two. Ensure that the ozonode is plugged in and switched on at the wall. Which level setting you will use depends on the concentration of ozone that you intend using. This is measured in gamma. Refer to the chart on your machine to determine which level and flow rate you require. Please consult your health practitioner for personal medical advice. In the protocol handbook, we pass on the general advice from the Madrid Declaration on Ozone Therapy from the International Scientific Committee of Ozone Therapy. Connect the Lua lock connector from the oil bubbler to O3 out one. Set the flow rate to the correct setting for your protocol. I'm aiming for a concentration of 13 micrograms per milliliter, so I will use a flow rate of half a liter with the setting L4. Set the power switch to M1. Press the button L4. The oil should begin to bubble. Allow two minutes for the machine to warm up. Place the nasal cannula in position with the two barbs in your nostrils and just breathe normally. 
When you have finished the session, remember to turn off the equipment and sterilize the cannula by running ozone through it for 30 seconds or put it through the dishwasher. You can keep using the same oil for a week or until it begins frothing up too much. You should always avoid backflow coming up the tube. Time to change the oil if that starts happening. You can still use a slightly ozonated oil for cooking in your salads or as a skin tonic. No need to dispose of it. I love to mix it with seeds and give it to the birds to keep their population thriving. If you have any questions or just like more information, please visit our website naturalozone.co.nz. Send us a message or just give us a call. Remember, we are a service-oriented family business and are always happy to give advice and support. See you in the next video. Thank you.